So they had the boy Diego funeral today, y'all. My dude in the middle, that's Miguel Suarez, leader of the Suarez cartel, and they plug. To the right, that's Diego's son, Domingo El Diablo Mendez. He been in Mexico working for the cartel for a second. Look at Antonio. He don't know what to do now. So before the service ended, he gave a speech. Thank you all for coming today to show your love for my carnal. If he could see this, I know he would be happy. Now I am counting on each and every one of you to continue to carry on his legacy. And just know, we will not rest until the people who did this are laying with him. We will not take this disrespect sitting down. They've been around since the 80s. We will continue to thrive and control their value. I'm holding all of you accountable to see this through. It won't be easy, but we faced bigger challenges before. From here on, my sobrino Domingo will take his Padre's place beside me, and with his help, VR13 will rise to new and unimagined heights. After that, y'all, they go back to their projects and throw a little party for Diego. Antonio, are you sure that you have the situation handled? Because if you don't, I won't hesitate to pull the plug on your operation. Miguel, listen. We know who did this and we will kill each one of them and take back control of our streets. Alright, just making sure my faith in you is in one place. With my nephew here now, those bendejos don't stand a chance. Continue with the shipments and leave the rest to us. I will return soon, Antonio. And things better be right. Everything will make sense soon, Miguel, I promise. I want to know everything. Who did this to me, Padre? I will skin them alive and cut their heads off for all to see. No one will escape my wrath. The sooner that we get to work on that, the better. The Rolling 60 Crips. One of their members, Tiny Ant, that we've been beefing with and watching him for a while. He tried to muscle in on our streets and profits and from there a war erupted between us. That little bastard has to die, nephew. Now, come and take a ride with your Tio. From there, I will show you all of the spots that we know about as of right now. He can't hide from us. This city isn't too small. We will avenge you, Carnal. This I promise. And from there, that boy Antonio take him and show him my spots. This was his old home. We believe he still uses it from time to time to conduct business. This here is a good start, nephew. This right here is his stash house. Now there's two ways in here. You could also try to do an ambush from this alley. He definitely won't see it coming. Now 
this right here, this is his video. Now, me personally, I would advise against this unless you want a big firefight. But killing a couple of them might actually work to flush him out. Tio, now that you have showed me where this ant hides, I will crush him and I will turn his life into hell. No place on this earth will be safe for him. On mi padre's grave. I promise you that. Man, y'all, that fool really did look like the devil. So the next day, y'all, the feds roll up on Antonio. Ah, and to what do I owe this visit, fellas? We heard your brother's funeral was yesterday. We just came to check on you. People like you give us Latinos a bad name, Antonio. We're just making sure you stay out of trouble. Listen, did you just come here to harass me? Because I have nothing to say to you. There's nothing more here that concerns you. We just heard that you've been worn with the rolling 60s and some guy named Tiny Ant. Is he the one who's responsible for killing your brother? Listen, I don't know anything about any war or anyone named Tiny Ant, but you are definitely misinformed. Okay, Antonio, but just know We'll be watching you, and if you do remember anything, don't be afraid to reach out to us. Have a good day, and stay out of trouble soon. But if I find out you're lying, you'll be going away for a very long time. You got that, Antonio? Good. I appreciate it for keeping it solid though, y'all. So later on that day, you feel me? I'm in the hood with the homies. You know, showing them my new GT363 I just copped, you feel me? On them 4G things. You know, chopping it up with them about our next big move, you feel me? While we out there, the full baby D pull up on the set. One more day. I've been really paranoid since they killed Nip. Got me looking at my homies all funny and shit. Niggas say look at me like the enemy. Shit rubbed me wrong instantly. Now I can't trust you, can't trust them. He plotting on me and y'all niggas friends. They building up hate for a nigga. Can't let my life get took away from a nigga. Lead a city where you from like Boosie say. But I can't do that because I'm too LA. Now I'm sitting back. And he walk up on me like, what's cracking, huh? I'm like, what's cracking, homie? What's the word? You good? He like, listen, man. Frank ain't giving me enough weight. I know you have. I need to cop two from him. I'm like, oh, yeah. I might be able to do something for you. What you trying to spend, girl? He like, listen. I got 60 rocks on you, good. I'm like, all right, bet. Well, just hop in your whip. And follow me to my spot. I'll get you together. You like, man, low, you came in a clutch for your boy. And you definitely am gonna regret this. Even though I wanted that money, y'all, 
something in my head just said that this wasn't right. He was under Frank. So why not just get it from him, you feel me? But whatever. So I pull up to the spot and wait for him to get there. He gave me his money and I tell him I'll be right back, cuz. I still can't shake the feeling about this, y'all. I might regret it in the future. I guess we'll see. After that, y'all, I had yanked up to my stash house to drop off the bread that fool I just gave me. Man, y'all, why the next morning the feds hit my spot up? I'm glad I wasn't there. Man, y'all, they found 10 bricks and 150 racks in cash. And when I got wind of that, I knew that fool Baby D had set me up, y'all. To make matters worse, Domingo was sliding on the homies trying to flush me out. Now after that y'all, y'all definitely ain't gonna believe this. This fool went to my crib in the suburbs y'all. And just from what my neighbors had told me, man this fool hit my house with a grenade launcher y'all. Everything that had happened that day, y'all, man, I felt like my life was falling apart again. I was just so ready to crash out and go on an all-out killing spree on the whole city, you feel me? Baby D, Domingo, the feds, they was all playing on my top, you feel me? I wanted to send a message. And when I'm out there on that, y'all, I get a text from my cousin Frank saying, grab some clothes and some cash and meet me at LAX. I'm wondering what's going on with him, but you know, I text him back like, all right, cuz, here I come.
So after I got everything together, like I said, I yanked up to the airport, you feel me? When I hop out that thing, I see my cousin Frank across the street with his bag. I wonder what's on his mind. Listen, cuz, the feds on to us. That rat baby D done sold us out. And your spot getting hit up only put the spotlight on us even more. So I think we need to get out of town until the heat die down. Now you remember old girl I saved from Joe Hunt? She found us some dudes in New York that might want to do business. And if it go good, we can expand and put them down with the team. Listen, we gonna handle Baby D, but we can't be around when it happens. So Lamar and Uncle G gonna watch the business and handle things while we gone. That fool gonna pay for crossing us, cuz. This, I can promise you. And I also heard about what's going on with you and the essays. That's gonna get handled too. But I can't lose you to these streets or the system, cuz. I let you down in the past, and I told you that would never happen again. I love you, cuz. And we gonna make it out of this thing together. Just trust me on this, man. I got you. So he's sitting there telling me all that, y'all. You feel me? But I'm still pissed in my head, you know. So it's kind of going to one ear and out the other. But I'm trying to listen. Listen, cuz, honestly, I'm glad you called me, cuz I was finna crash out on them fools, but I see you trying to do this the smart way, so I'm gonna follow you, and if you feel like New York to move right now, then that's what it is, I love you, big cuz, and I know you never steer your tiny low wrong, so let's get out of here, and let's run this bag up even more on these clowns, you feel me? After that, y'all, we was off to catch our PJ flight. We was finna turn the Big Apple up. Look out, New York. Them Clinton boys coming. Touched down earlier that next morning. Still trying to quarterback without no old line. I got all the cosigns right after I fucked up my life back in old nine. My lawyer said no time. Trying to get back to New York, I was so blind. My neighbor did cold lines. Her body fell off and she used to be so fine. I really been broke slime. Walked out my building, I really seen dope lines. We ain't got no time to waste. We gon' keep forming like gold trial. Plug used to panic from coast guards. I couldn't come up with no rounds. Came on the beat in a show time. Hard liquor, this ain't no wine. Listen, I've been on my own time. Man, New York was so big, y'all. I couldn't wait to see everything this city had to offer. It was like a whole new world out there, you feel me? Endless opportunities and possibilities. Still trying to quarterback without no old line. I got all the cosigns right after I fucked up my life back in 09. My lawyer said no time. When we get to the front of the airport, old girl out there. And cuz I got us both exotic rental. A Bentley truck and a Lamborghini truck. Man, that was real, real player to me, y'all. I couldn't wait to hop in that thing. So she get to telling cuz about a dude named Poppy from Brooklyn and a dude named Enrique from Harlem 
He like, okay, cool. I'm ready to get to work. I got a little something on me. She like, okay, cool. Cause these dudes definitely about their money. And when I told them about y'all, they told me to set it up. So Frank was like, listen, cuz, I'ma go with her to Harlem to meet Enrique. You take the Bentley truck and you go to Brooklyn to meet Poppy. I'm like, okay, bet, cuz, I won't let you down. I'm ready to see how they get down out here. I got you, cuz, you know I'll never let you down. We gonna sew it up out here, I promise you. Stay safe and call me when you get settled. Now this Ben Tiger was nice, y'all. And I couldn't wait to see how they banged out here. I was prepared for whatever. That's Poppy, leader of the G-Town Crips, a major D-boy in this borough. And I heard he trying to break into the rap game. They say this fool stuff hard. My man got rich doing state time, didn't waste time, had him sniffing like K-9. In the day room, all he did was watch Dateline, then heard through the grapevine, some cats want to shank slime. Out he A-8, can't wait for that A-9. Roll the day, day, go pearl or the face wine. So when I pull up to their projects, you feel me, y'all? I see a blue Audi truck on 40s out front. And some low homies. I can also see one got the blower out on him, prepared for whatever. So I had to play this smart, y'all. So I walk up on him. I'm like, what's cracking, homie? I'm here to meet with Poppy. My homegirl told me he looking for a new plug. Can y'all point me to him now? These fools just ignoring me first, y'all. Ain't saying nothing. One of them like, yo, listen, son. I don't know nothing about nobody named Poppy. Looking for work. You might want to get from around here, though. It definitely ain't safe out here, B. So the one with the burner walk up on me. Right. What you looking for my homie Poppy for? I think you need to get from around here, homie. It get real greasy out here, you heard? I'm like, listen, man. You better use it, cuz. That don't scare me. I'm just here from Cali to do square business with Poppy. That's it. Finally, he like, Cali? Oh, so you who old girl was talking about. Hey, listen, lo, I'm Poppy. And these my G-Town Lokes. We just had to make sure everything was good first. I'm like, all right, cuz. So tell your man to stand down, cause that ain't how we do business where I'm from. Yo, Peanut, stand down, Lo. This ain't how we want to treat our out-of-town guests from the motherland, man. Just chill. You hurting, Peanut. Chill out with the burner. That's all I love, homie. So you the one that's gonna flood us with them bricks, huh? Yeah, I'm Tiny Ann from 60 Crab. He like, okay, Luke. So come take a ride with me so we can chop it up. Y'all fools hold the block down. I'm gonna take a ride with our boy right here. Yo, B, sorry for all that, homie. We've been beefing with some bloods around here. They trying to encroach on our turf and steal our money. I just had to make sure you wasn't one of them fools trying to sneak me, you heard? That's all, that's it. So where they hang? Because I'm down for whatever, because 
the homies in my set know I get real active with the blowers, man. My body count up there. I'm finna, sh you know what I'm saying, show you how I get down. I'm finna show you right now, cuz. We about to come up on it in a second now. Man, lo, this just like Cali, cuz. We super beefed out with them fools right now. And some essays out there in the city. That's the apartments right there where they slain. But they ain't out there on they block right now, though. Listen, cuz. I heard you got that raw. But I need your help with this, too. Now, if you can do that for me, you got an ally for life, my nigga. And I'll always return favors, homie. Ask about me out here in these streets. Sound good to me, homie. I'm always down to drop something. And if it's helping the locs, and that's even better for me, hint, count me in, nigga. I want to see how your work moves. Go change and come back with some to see how the zombies react. And we can go from there with it, you feel me? Sound good to you, homie? Say less, cuz. When we done, you gonna have Brooklyn on lock. Man, it's time to get to work, y'all. So I heard that clown baby D got dealt with y'all. Snitches always get what they got coming. Always remember that gang. See that fool that tried to set me up to get got with the feds and didn't even know. We was gonna find a way to get you regardless. I just wish I could have did it myself, y'all. But my cousin Lamar, he handled it. You ain't got shit on. That next day, y'all, I'm in the car with Poppy, you feel me? And he tell me he gotta pull up on this big homie in Queens. I ask him, like, who it is? He tell me this dude a legend. He was big in the streets and a legend in the music industry. Man, I couldn't wait to see who it was, y'all. We ended up pulling up to Southside Jamaica, Queens, you feel me? Up to some project building. We hop out that thing, you feel me? As soon as we do, I see a couple of the low homies out there, you feel me? Some armed security guards, and none other than 50 Cent, y'all. Big Five, man, I couldn't believe it. He all at Poppy like, yo, what's good, little bro? Poppy like, man, I just came to all at you, big homie. Let you know I got a show tonight in the Bronx at the Triangle Club. I can't lie, y'all. I was kind of starstruck, you feel me? Yeah, homie, I just had to come tap in with you, see if you was gonna pull up. Fifth tally, he gonna see, but he got an important meeting later about a new show. I understand, homie, get that back. I might need to be in one of your shows. Show him how real I am. This right here, though, this my man's in from Cali. He a 60 crook. sitting there chopping it up and all that. I'm like, hold on, let me hop up and introduce myself. I'm like, what's up, Fifth? It's an honor to meet you, cuz. I knew you was real. You still out here in the trenches, even though you got all that cheese. Hey, Fifth, matter of fact, can I get a picture with you, cuz? The homies back home and my cousin Frank ain't gonna believe this, y'all. Fifth was like, homie, come on. Man, I couldn't believe it, y'all. This was my first time meeting a real celebrity. I was geeked. Yeah, y'all, that fool Poppy was definitely plugged out here in NY, you feel me? All right, big homie. Let me know if you gonna slide. Come on, Ant, we out.
Hey, Ant, what I tell you about being fanned out, homie? You gotta chill out, man. <laughs> hey, I ain't care what he was talking about, though, y'all. I was gate. Now, that same day, y'all, a couple blocks from Poppy Hood, his ops was plotting. You see that fool right there? That's Killer Cow, the shot caller and money maker from Gangsta Killer Bloods. See, everybody in the city knew Poppy had a show tonight. So to them, this was the perfect spot to catch him at. Hey, yo, son, that clown Poppy really think he doing something. We gonna show him who run the city. That nigga gotta seek blood. I swear to God, we gonna get him out of Brooklyn. It's ours out here, man. You know, his homie sitting there. They trying to agree with him all that. Talking about they gonna come mess the show up, you feel me? My boy was really out here doing his thing, had all these fools hating on him like that. Now later on that day, y'all, we got back on Poppy Block, you feel me? We got a bunch of dying pieces out there kicking it with us. The homies out there, you know they out there strapped up, and we got the zombies out there. Man, homie, I can't wait to show you how litty we get in the city tonight. Definitely gonna be a movie. I'm finna have a strip club going up. We throwing 20 racks. And I'm leaving out with a couple of them things, you feel me? I'm like, shit, I'm ready, homie. The ladies love your boy. And you know if you throwing a dub, I'm throwing a dub, too. I can't let you outshine me, cuz. I hope that full 50 pop up, too, man. We definitely gonna have that thing packed out on the set. With or without, big homie. We going up. The city love the kid, homie. My name whole wait out here. I hear you, homie. Besides the business, I'm definitely here to have fun and see what these NY females about. Couple hours later, y'all, it was time to ride out to the show. You all ready? I'm just waiting on my goonies to pull up and we can take off. Let's get it, homie. I'm going to show you how we get down in Cali. I got two baddies in the car with me, y'all. And I was gunning the Bentley truck trying to show out for them, you feel me? I know they like this fool crazy. I ain't care. Y'all was leaving with me later on tonight, you feel me, in my head. So we pull up to the club about 11, y'all. And it's showtime, you feel me? We finna go in there and turn that thing up and turn it out, you feel me? Have all the strippers going crazy. What you know about seeing the traps? Matter of fact, what you know about Steven and them? Got weed, got crack and demons in it. Can't talk my sprite, got lean up in it. Look, I don't play with nobody. Don't wait on nobody. Don't wait on me. Uh, I don't hate on nobody. You hate on the posse. You hate on me. Told bro, if I die, don't let that breast stop. Just send me some debt. I'll slow the gate. Still up on that slot shit. We don't talk. All we know is flat shit. Boy, you bugging. Now, you while we in there doing our thing, you feel me? Poppy, I'll slide up right on schedule, you Cuz on stage doing his thing, you feel me? Once that fool killer cow came in, you already know it was up. He started set tripping, y'all. So we had to end the show early. After that, you feel me? We walk outside with the blowers ready. They had theirs up too fucking crazy. So you already know after that, y'all. Big ass shit up. Oh, 
I was pissed. After losing two of their homies, though, y'all, they had no choice but to pull off. Man, cuz, them niggas gotta die for this shit. Listen, homie, don't even trip. I know somebody that do insurance for her. I'll have you in a new one by tomorrow. Just hop in with me for the time being. Alright, cuz, but I'm ready to slide right now. I don't care about that, man. I swear to God. Listen, man. You just gotta chill, my guy. We gonna take care of this problem. I promise you. Hey, Ant. I know them clowns going right back to they block, homie. That's where we gonna end up catching them, man. They ain't too smart. We finna blow they block up then, cuz. That's on 60 crit. Got my word, them niggas gonna pay on me. Alright, so how we doing this? Gonna drop my whip off and get skied up and hop in something else. Let's go ahead and dead this nigga, homie. After that, Brooklyn is ours. Shit, I'm ready, cuz. Niggas blew my whip up, tried to kill me, and messed up our fun night. And I'ma body that clown myself, lo. On 6 0 crit. My soldiers told me that they on their block just like I knew they'd be. After that, y'all, you feel me? We hopped in a low-key like thing, you feel me? One of them old things, DTS. Alright, eh? So my low told me you niggas in front of the laundry matter on their block. So what we gonna do, we gonna creep from the next block and surprise I bet it, homie. Axel. 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 So we slide up from the next block, y'all, you feel me? Creeping all slow through that thing, you feel me? Pull up. Killer lights. Now it's time to hop out and do damage. Just like Poppy Soldiers, I told him, y'all. Them fools are definitely on the block in front of that laundry man. Out there chilling, smoking like it wasn't nothing. Like when he just have a shootout with him. I guess he thought because he had two soldiers he was safe. But y'all know it's crazy, man. I guess one of his soldiers that caught us creeping up on him, you feel me? Cause that fool got the up. And after that, y'all, another fool upon the shoot. Yeah, nigga, that's how you lay the murder game down. Let's go dunk these straps in this whip, homie. Alright, that. Hey, listen, cuz. You a real one. You said you was gonna help me take over Brooklyn. You did it. Hey, listen, I'm a man of my word, cuz. So I guess that means we got a deal then on you getting down with the team. No doubt, homie. Whatever y'all boys calling yourselves, I'm with it. We gonna take over the country. Fuck the city. My nigga, welcome to the fam, man. After that, y'all, 
Your boy dumped the whip. New York was only the beginning, gang. Y'all watch this. After spending a week in New York, y'all, it was time for your boy to head home. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Your boy definitely had to come out here again. Because it was definitely lit out here. And they showed your boy a lot of love in the city. So when I get back to L.A., y'all, your boy is in a great mood, you feel me? And I want to do something good for a change, you know? Something to try to make my people happy, man, you know? Spread the love, spread the wealth. So I was on my way back to the city, you feel me? I had put a couple phone calls in, try to make something happen. Now one of them phone calls, y'all, had to be that boy How. My cousin Frank Carpelud. I went to grab this BMW for my mom, you feel me? So I pull up out there. I tell him, I appreciate you for putting this together for my moms, man. I got your cash right here, too. You know, he tell me, like, no problem, man. Family, Frank. It's my family too. I'm like, for sure, just drop the car off at my spot lighter, kid. And I yank off in that thing, y'all. Man, I couldn't wait to see the look on mom's face when she saying that. So I pull up on the block, you feel me in that thing. That I seen like forever since your boy I've been to the hood. When I get out there, mom's standing outside the crib smoking cigarettes and stuff. I walk up on her. You know? I'm like, hey, mom, how you been? She tell me, she like, I've been good, Anthony, and appreciate you for getting your father from help. But why you here? I told you, I didn't want nothing to do with you or your foolishness. I'm like, look, mom, at the end of the day, this is the life I chose. I'm a grown man. I just want you in it. I even got you something to show you how much I love and appreciate you. She like, I just want you safe, son. That's why I act how I do. But I'll always love you. And let's see what you got for me. I'm like, okay, follow me, man. You know, she's steady trying to guess what it is, you feel me? I'm just like, watch this. So I'm like, what you think, man? You like it? Man, y'all, she jumping up and down screaming, y'all. That's how I knew. I'm like, go ahead, get in that thing, man. And I got like 20000 in the middle compartment for you. It felt good doing something good for your people, you feel me? That's what we hustle for. I even think I saw mom shed a tear, y'all. I 
I'll tell her like this is only the beginning, man. I'm going to get you and Pops out the hood. I promise you that. You know, she tell me, she like, honestly, Anthony, never in my life did I think I would be able to afford one of these. You really made my day with this, son. Thank you. So later on that day, y'all, you feel me? Mom's out riding, sliding, you feel me? Showing off, you know. And she had to stop and get some gas for the whip. So she pull up at the little Exxon down the street from the hood, you feel me? Now when she come outside that thing, y'all, that fool Antonio Mendez sitting there in his lowrider with one of his little cronies. So mom's up there pumping her gas, you feel me? This fool hop out and walk over to her. Talking about, that's a real nice car, man. Did your son buy that for you? Man, moms get the spies on him, y'all. She like, who is you? And how you even know that I got a son? And then you asking about him? She like, you better leave me alone while I'm in a good mood, because I'm not the one. They're spazzing on him, y'all. He walk away. He like tell that El Toro's looking for him. Man, y'all, they better be lucky. I wasn't right there, y'all. Man, both of them clowns would have been dead for playing with my mama like that, man. Man, moms was pissed about that. So after she finished getting her gas, you feel me? She hopped in the whip. She texts me like, who was El Toro? He said he looking for you. Now when I get the message, y'all, you feel me? I'm just out there chilling with the homies, you feel me? Talking about how we done expanded national, you feel me, and how things finna get real crazy around here. Man, when I seen that text message, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Your boy was real pissed. This clown actually played with my mama. I said, don't worry about it, ma. I got this. Man, y'all, I was ready to crash out again, man. Just go straight to his hideout and kill him. I even had to tell the homies about this. I'm like, this clown actually played with my mama, y'all. But we was going to play this another white game. See, one of my little shorties I was messing with, I have her pull up on me, you feel me? She like, what's up, man? What you need from me, baby? I tell her, I'm like, I need you to use your charms on somebody for me, baby. This old clown named El Toro, he did some bullshit, and he got a pipe. Now, when you get him alone, let me know, and I'll come handle the rest of that. She like, all right, babe. I got you. You always look out. What kind of car he drive? I tell her. I'm like, that fool drive a blue 6 4 Impala Low Rider, and he's on the south side of East Los. And after that, y'all, she yanked off from me. I was finna put this clown in the blender, y'all. So the next day, y'all, it would just happen that boy was in East Los, gassing up the Low Rider. While he out there doing that, y'all. Shorty spotty. Oh, 
Oh, she pull up, act like she finna get some gas. She hop out that thing, you know, walk over to him. You know, she tell him, like, your car is so nice. I love a man in a lowrider. He like, this thing right here, this is nothing, baby. You can sit in it if you want. Come check it out. So they both popping that thing, y'all, you feel me? He out there trying to show out for her. She acting like she interested. They sitting there kicking it, you know. Baby like, take my number down. I'd love to get to know you better. Dude thinking he really got something, y'all. That's what you get when you're thinking with that little head instead of that big one. They chop it up for a minute. And Shorty hop up out that thing. That boy El Toro like, all right, I'll call you later. That fool thought he had him something, y'all. Well, after he yank off from the gas station, you feel me? Shorty hop back in her whip. She sent me a text like I got him. And he wants to see me later. I'll let you know when I get the location. When I get that message, y'all, I'm sitting in the spot. And I was music to my ear. Yeah, this clown was gonna pay real bad for this, man. This is gonna be the worst mistake he ever made in his life. But later on that night, y'all, Shorty ended up pulling up on dude. And he had the spot by himself, y'all. So shorty get in that thing you feel me this dude got money and coke everywhere trying to show out or something like shorty care you like what's up baby you ready to have some fun i don't know if you partake in this but if you do it's plenty of it for you she like, I definitely do. Maybe in a minute. But put on some music. I would love to dance for you, baby. So, you know, Shorty get to dancing for him, you feel me? He up in there excited. He think he got him something. She like, I love dancing for you, baby. But before we continue... A girl's got to use the bathroom, if that's all right with you. So he tells Shorty where the bathroom at. Y'all already know what she did. She walk out there and text me like, we at this spot right now and we here by ourselves. Come on. Send me the address and everything. When I get that, y'all, you already know what it was. Go time. I text baby like, all right, I'll be there in a minute. Now, everybody know this, y'all. One thing you don't do, you don't play with a nigga mama.
I was finna shoot that fool like a hundred times, y'all. So shorty come back in that thing, you feel me? She tell him, she like, I love it here, baby. But before we continue this, I have any more fun. I got some sexy lingerie in my car that I want to put on and show you. She like, I'll be right back. Dog like, all right, baby. Don't keep Poppy waiting for too long. So a couple minutes after that, y'all, your boy ended up pulling up there. When I pull up to the spot, shorty outside smoking a cigarette. I hop out that thing, big AR. Shorty tell me, he in there by himself. He ain't gonna suspect a thing. He'll think it's me coming back. I'm like, thanks, baby. I'm gonna take care of you for this. So I get in there, I think, dude, think I'm girl. He talking about poppy's ready. I'm like, no, nigga, you can cancel that. Get the fuck down now. He like, you're making a big mistake, and You kill me, and my nephew will end you. I'm like, man, only one that made a mistake was you. Pulling up on my mom's clown. You thought I was just going to let that shit slide? That's time to die. He tell me like I'm ready to die. See you in hell, puto. I'll let him have it, boy. Got out that thing. When I get back out there, shorty like, so I take it you did it. I'm like, hell yeah, baby. Anything you want up there, hurry up and go take it before his people pull up. And I got 30 racks for you at my spot. Just come holler at me. She like, all right, baby, I'm going to slide on you in a second. And I yanked off, you all. See, dog was an easy target, you feel me? Because I knew you would fall victim to temptation. And shorty right here, she was the kind of chick that only cared about that bag. And she would do whatever for it. Man, she got in there and clinked him out, y'all. Ain't leave nothing but his cigar and the little piles of coke that was on the table. About 20 minutes later, y'all, his nephew El Diablo was gonna pull up on him. He ain't even knowing. Man, your uncle and her dead, fool. Don't ever think you're gonna blow up my crib or play with my mom. Man, he getting there and see that, y'all. I wish I could have saw his face. I know he was sick. First, Poppy, and now you, Tio. I promise you, when I find little Ant, I'm going to crush him and send him to hell with you. Y'all, 
Yeah, I know that boy was pissed off. Now, I knew this was going to take our war with them to a whole new level. But I knew now that I definitely could win. Because one thing about El Toro, he wasn't the smartest tool in the box. But he wasn't no dummy. Now, his nephew, El Diablo, he was just straight muscle. I knew he was going to crash out if I made the right moves next. Everybody in the city knew now. This what's going to happen when you play with anybody I love. I'm going to put you in the dirt on 60 crib. After having a good night out with my people, y'all, I get a text saying my cousin G had been shot and killed. Man, I couldn't believe it. We was just together. Man, that whole situation really had me blue, y'all. I just sat there on the edge of my bed in disbelief. Like, damn. Like, what happened that night? Play a part in that? I didn't know the answer to that trip, boy. But I was messed up. So the next day, little did I know, y'all, it was a storm, bro. With the death of El Toro, y'all, that boy Miguel Suarez was mad. He had put faith in El Diablo to get the job done and take care of us. And that wasn't working out too good for him. Del Domingo, Miguel is here to see him. All right, Miguel, one second. Hey boss, Miguel is here to see you And he doesn't look too happy You want me to send him in or tell him you're not here You know, send him in I've been expecting a visit from him We have to be honest with our partners Hey, Domingo, we need to talk in private. I've been hearing some troubling things about your operation. I understand. Hey, clear the room for a second, Holmes, so I can talk to Miguel. So I take it you've heard about my uncle's passing? Miguel, is that why you're here to see me? I've got this under control. There's nothing for you to worry about. Well, apparently it is. You, your father, and uncle can't handle a small crew of hoodlums. When I sent you here, I just knew you'd get things under control. But maybe I need to pull my pop line. Don't go talking crazy, Miguel. Give me one more week, and I'll have that pendejo's head for you. Fine, one more week, or I'll kill you myself. Thank you for your kindness, Miguel. I want our crews scouring every inch of this damn city to find little Ant. I'm going to personally take a crew myself to his barrio and knock a few heads and see if I can flush him out. Failure is not an option at this point. Later on that night, y'all, it was on. Them boys were sliding through our hood trying to see if they could catch anything. If you was caught out there, it was gonna be bad news for you. Once I bust it up, you gotta go, you ain't no cook. 
I can hang with niggas that want money, but I don't If I would have knew all this was going on, y'all, I would have told the homies to stay in the crib. After all that disrespect, y'all, about an hour later, man, we was sliding right back through that hood. Y'all know right back ain't cheap. You look like 10, but I'm holding 50. Two years ago, I probably paid your ass with all giffies. Left 20 hoes in 2020, I bet they all miss me. Fuck. So much shit going through my head. Her niggas was trying to slime me out. I think they want me dead. Anybody so caught out there? Purple, my kidney's gonna be getting it put on. Off, Man, we were so bold, we did something them boys wouldn't have dared to do. Slid right through they hood, had everybody running. And pulled up and parked the whip on them. Hopped out that thing on foot, y'all. Man, they projects was like a damn ghost town when we was out there. I probably caught by one of them. So the next day, with everything going on in the back and forth, it was time for me to get rid of my crib that I had in the suburbs, y'all. See, I had met with Agatha and a potential buyer, and Agatha told me that the buyer was ready to give me $500,000 for the crib. Now to me, that sounded like a deal. I just need to get up off of it. So with that 500k in my account, y'all, it was time to go splurge. Your boy was feeling real good. So first thing I did, y'all, I had Agatha hook me up with a little apartment on the beach. You know, somewhere temporary, low key. Just so nobody know where I was at. But I wasn't done there, y'all. I had some more things that I was buying. Another thing I did, I called up my boy How. Y'all know when my cousin Frank getting that Rolls Royce dawn, your boy had to cop him something new. So I had the boy How come and bring me, y'all guessed it, that Lamborghini truck on them 4Gs. How I appreciate you, cuz. You always come through on the whips. And he tell me, y'all, no problem. We locked in. And he got the other whip I ordered ready for me. Man, I can't wait for the streets to see this. I'm finna cut up. That thing was clean, y'all. And I was finna pull so many honeys in this thing, y'all. They wasn't ready for me. So with the funeral happening the next day, y'all, I had to go pick up my pops from the rehab center. Now, he had been in there for about a month at this point. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Your boy definitely missed my pops, man. It had been like forever since I seen him. We get in the car talking. I'm like, I missed you, Pops. It's good to see you. I'm proud of you, man, for getting clean. He like, it ain't been easy, son. But honestly, I can say I'm proud of myself and feel a lot better. 
I tell him, I just wish it was under better circumstances. But I got a surprise waiting for you at the crib. So we pull up in the hood at the crib. Pops like, damn son, who blue Camaro is that? I'm like, oh, that's yours, Pops. Why don't you hop out the whip and go check it out? Tell me what you think. Yeah, y'all know I had to hook Pops up too. We are riding clean in the fam, man. Like, oh man, son. You playing with me. This thing is too clean. And you got it in Nipsey Blue? Man, I don't know what to say. Let me check this out, man. Hold on. Pops getting that thing, you feel me? He get the crown. Burning rubber, hitting donuts, all that, man. I'd love to see it, y'all. So, Pops, what you think about your gift, man? You like it? Man, son, I love it. You almost brought your old man to tears. I tell him, like, listen, man, there's plenty more where that came from. I just need you to stay on the right path, Pops. I love you, old man. That y'all pops was off the holla at mine for the first time in a while. It was good to see my peoples doing good, happy. But I had still had some business to take care of as far as the VR 13 went. I was finna set a play in motion, y'all, to get that boy Domingo out the way once and for all. So as y'all know, the next day, they held my cousin Gerald funeral. You know, I hopped up there and said some nice words, you feel me? And then, come to find out, this little dude named G-Stone from the hood is my cousin Gerald's son. Man, that was crazy, y'all. I had a new little dude, but it was honestly insane to think I had another little cousin. And I heard G Stone and my cousin Frank took care of that boy Joe Hunt. But he had it for what he did to my cousin G, you feel me? So three days later, y'all, your boy out and about, you feel me? Got a gas up to yours. So I pull up in the gas station down the street from the hood. So y'all know I'm in that thing getting my gas, getting me some blunts, you feel me? And when I walk out that thing, y'all, guess who I see? That's the motherfucking FBI standing in front of my truck, man. I'm like, damn, a nigga can't even get no gas in peace. They like... This is a really nice truck, Mr. Clinton. What is it, about 300000 The dope game's treating you good. But that's not why we're here. There's been a lot of murders happening this past week around the city. You know anything about them? Even if I did, I wouldn't tell y'all. I ain't no damn rat. I knew you'd say that. Just know we got our eyes on you and your family, Mr. Clinton. And just know I'll be right there when it's finally time to take your ass down. Man, y'all, they had pissed me off with that, man. I couldn't get away from them nowhere, man. After that exchange, y'all, your boy ain't even want the gas I had paid for no more, man. When I hopped in my truck, got the fuck on.
other than that, y'all, your boy had a meeting that he had to get to in a couple hours. So a couple hours after that, y'all, I pull up in East Los, you feel me? To meet with the VR13's little brother, the Aztec. And they boss, Jimmy Benavidez. Now, if anybody could help me get to Domingo, it would be these dudes. Hey, I appreciate you for meeting with me, homie. I know you all tired of being the VR13's little bro. A man like you could be a valuable ally to my organization. He tell me, do you need my help getting El Diablo? Give me one good reason I should help you out, homie. With a smile on my face, I said, I knew you'd say that, so I brought you a care pack. Hold on real quick. So y'all know I go pop the trunk on the whip, you feel me? I knew it was gonna take a little bit more convincing to get him on my side. Man, your boy busted out six bricks and fifty racks, y'all. I'm telling you, this is just the beginning right here, homie. Bring me El Diablo, and there's plenty more with that chain front. So I'll get to tell me. I think we can work something out, SC. I got a meeting with him in two days. Just let us worry about getting him. We do. We'll call you to meet. We'll grab him from him. With that, y'all, I secured a trap for that boy Domingo, man. It's gonna be lights out curtain for him. As soon as I got my hands on him, it was over, bro. With everything that was going on, y'all, it was only one thing up on my mind. Bring an end to this war, bring stability to the family. After a crazy search, your boy finally found him a crib, gang. Alright, Agatha, how much they want for this spot? I'll spend whatever on it. Okay, 2.5 million in the shores. Man, y'all should have seen a view from that thing. I could see the whole city. So later on that day, I'm gassing up the track hawk, you feel me? And get a text from my cousin Frank. He drop a low and tell me to pull up. I text him back like, all right, I'm on my way. And when I pull up, y'all, it's the old Benny's Motor Works. In my head, I'm wondering what Cuz doing here. You like the place? I think I'm gonna buy it, Cuz. I tell him, like, yeah, it's cool. I mean, you already got the dealership. Why not buy this and take over the whole game? You need to find something legit to invest in, too. You know we can't sell dope forever. Cuz, why don't you come in and be my partner? I'll think about it, cuz. But I got a lot on my mind. I'm supposed to finish the El Diablo situation today. Alright. I get it, cuz. Well, handle that and get back to me. This offer won't be open forever, but I do want you to know, you came a long way, and I'm proud of you, cuz. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I knew cuz was right. We couldn't slang forever, but I love the game too much to just leave it now. But, on the other hand, maybe I will find my own little business to invest in, y'all.
So later on that day, that meeting between El Diablo and Jimmy Benavidez was about to go down. Little Jimmy, what's going on, Vato? I'm a busy man, I got a war to win. Where's my money? Ah, Domingo. Yeah, about that, I don't have your money, Holmes. And I found some new allies who are willing to pay a pretty penny for your head. So as of right now, me and you are done, and VR 13 is done. Now get in the car, Holmes. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Little Jimmy, I promise you, you are going to regret this betrayal you have committed today. You forget I know where all of your family stays. So after that, y'all, Jimmy told me he had him and dropped the coordinates of the location of meeting map. Now when I get that text, I'm in the hood with the homies chilling, but I tell him, all right, I'm on my way. So we end up meeting on top of a parking garage not too far from the hood. And them boys out there with guns drawn to him Man, it was a funny sight to see, y'all. I see you a man of your word, homie. Yeah? And now it's time for you to keep up your end of the bargain, homie. Oh, I got you. What's up, Domingo? You ain't think you was gonna see me, huh? I should have known you were the new allies he was talking about. Well, little ant, you got me now. So what are you gonna do? You better kill me. Jimmy kept his word, and for that, I had to keep mine. We was gonna be his new supplier from now on. That boy was in the car cussing up a storm in Spanish. I ain't know what he was saying, but it was time to finish this. All right, Domingo, any last words before you become fish food? I've got nothing to say, you little bastard. If you're going to kill me, do it then. And with that, y'all, it was the end of a saga. Man, I had to go look into the water just to believe it. As he sat there and sunk, I thought, like, damn, I just ended that whole bloodline.
and I'll do it again if that's what it took to protect my family and my empire. The South Side was mine, you know. And anybody else who stood in my way, they had the same fate waiting for them. After gaining control on the South Side and putting that boy Jimmy in place over there, your boy went and copped him another toy game. Yeah, that's right. That 2023 BMW i7 on four Gs. And that thing was so nasty. And we was making so much paper off that man. It looked like things was finally looking up for your boy, gang. So I slide through the hood so they can see me, you feel me? When I spot my little cousin G-Stone outside. So I yanked up on him. So I'm hollering at him, you feel me? And I told cuz, you gonna have to separate yourself from this hood stuff at a certain point. Everybody don't wanna see you win, basically. But I don't think he was trying to hear me out, y'all. His cuz young. But I know eventually he'll get it. Hopefully. So after that, I ain't off to go collect some more pipe. Now unknown to me, y'all, that same day, this fool named Lil Greedy from the Hoovers was getting out of prison. Now I ain't no cuz. But I heard about him. And how he got down. He a dude with straight cutthroat grimy. And he ain't care about nothing. Now the Hoovers was a small gang, but they was ambitious. He went back this hood with a plan, y'all. Hey, Grooves, we taking over this city. Anybody in our way can meet the barrel of this AR. I don't care if they Crips, Bloods, or SAs. They all can get it. We ABK, anybody killers. And we mashing the gas on all these marks. And if you get money, we taking that too. Man, y'all, them fools was hanging on to his every word like fanatics. So later on that night, y'all, it started. He hit up Jimmy Hood first since they was right down the street from them. Just put a magnum on the bottom of my block So if we walk down, we ain't gon' rob him, he get shot He bang 23k, so if we spot him, he get dropped Thousand hell like book 12, they want me right <laughs> After hitting them boys up, y'all, somehow he found out that Jimmy was getting in the shipment for me and where he was at with it. They out there kicking it, y'all. Man, I ain't even aware that they getting crept up on. Hey, girl, it's my work now. If you want to live, I suggest you start using your feet. Oh, yeah, and the South Line now. All right, take it easy, man. You got it. Just know, you're playing a dangerous game. The people I work for are not going to take this lightly. I get ready for work, man. That boy ain't care about no war, y'all. He was on now. Y'all, the Hoovers took over the South Side instantly. If you was out there, you better have had on him. Or they was on your ass. 
miles in their life, but boy, they want me riding in the box. If the police pick me up, I cut my eyes, I ain't see shit. One nigga sliding in a two seat, I'm clutching three sticks. Catch him in the Yeah, that boy Lil Gritty was feeling himself now, y'all. With the money from the bricks that he stole, he went copping some ice and two foreign whips. And they was pressing everything. These next couple nights was gonna be real deadly. Our hood was the second one to get hit. The Bloods got hit up next, y'all. An hour after they shot our hood up. And them boys was staying true to their name anybody killer. I have been so busy this week, y'all, so I ain't knowing the details of everything that's going on. All I know is the hood got new enemies. So anyway, one night, I'm picking up this new chick I had started dealing with, you feel me, for a date. Yeah, baby, fine as hell, ain't she, y'all? Man, y'all know how I do, man. But yeah, so I take Shorty out to the carnival on the pier, you feel me? We out there having fun, kicking it, you feel me? Trying to figure out what we doing after this, y'all. Well, my phone get to blowing up crazy. It's the boy Jimmy talking about he need to see me ASAP 911. So I tell baby, hey, I need you to ride with me somewhere. You good with that? And she like, yeah, that's cool. So we end up dipping off from there, you feel me? Pull up to Jimmy Hood in East Los. I'm wondering what this could be about, you feel me? I'm thinking bro must got the money that he owe me. So I tell baby stay in the car real quick, I'll be right back. Jimmy, what's up, homie? You must got that pipe for me, right? Man, you all this fool get to telling me he got robbed four days ago for the 17 bricks out front of him. And it took you four days to tell me that, homie? Man, that ain't how we do business, cuz. Honestly, after that game, I wasn't trying to hear nothing else he was saying. But I did hear him say this fool now it looked greedy and the hovers did it. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Not only that, but he get to telling me they snatched the south side from us too. Look, homie, since you helped me with the El Diablo situation, I'm going to give you a week to get my $600,000. If not, 
you know the consequences of your actions. I'm killing you and everything you care about. We got that understood? And I was pissed, y'all. That was a big loss to take. After that, I took baby back to the spot and put it on her. I had to take my frustrations out some type of way. But I was still on fire, y'all. These clowns really thought that they could steal from me and get away with it when it was time to go to war again. <laughs>